Moi. This time I'm going to talk about Finland and Finnish people and answer your questions about these uh, uh, subjects. And so here we go. The first question is, how is it to grow up or live in Finland? It's very peaceful and beautiful here and uh, um, the country has a lot of good things, but also it's not a perfect place. But I think it's a perfect place for me, at least. I like it here. Then, which aspects, interesting facts of Finland and Finns life can you emphasize? Food, lifestyle, tradition, sauna, something else? Uh, that was a, a broad question again. Um, I would recommend you to see the channel Almost Finns. And it's in Finnish, but you can you can add the subtitle, I think, in English. Um, these three guys that are making that channel, they have a very, very cool approach to Finnish culture and Finland. So I recommend you to, to follow that channel. Um, uh, they've been uh, doing a great job clearing out the features that Finnish culture and Finland have. Um, uh, I can tell you about my uh, habits or Finnish things. I go to sauna, I like the nature, and I'm not a very typical Finnish in some ways because I am um, probably more open and uh, extrovert than many others. Yes, I eat healthy food and I appreciate the traditions, uh, m m many of them, maybe not all, but anyway, um, yeah, these kind of things. But you should come here and find out yourself if you're interested. Welcome. How is life during the less sun in Finland? Ah, this is a very good point. Um, the the time is at hand very soon because it's already September, uh, close to September, and the evenings are getting darker. Um, I call the upcoming period of time a candle season because I um, I tend to. Uh, use more candlelight uh, during the dark, dark season. And I, I enjoy that very much. I think it's very cozy and uh, warm. Um, and I don't mind the darkness so much, maybe because I was born in, in that dark season. I don't know whether that affects, but some people suffer a lot, actually, of the dark, dark days. Um, in general, at that time, people go out a little bit less and uh, I guess they are not as social as they are in summertime. And, uh, and people do more things alone at home uh, uh, during the darker days, weeks, months, actually. <laughs> what is your favorite place in Finland and why? And which places in Finland do you recommend us to visit? Um, I don't have any one specific uh, favorite place at the moment, at least, uh, because there are so many beautiful places. Um, but I will uh, show you some pictures of the places I've been to. And my favorite places are mostly in a forest or a lake area or a seashore. And, of course, one speciality is Lapland, the very northern part of Finland. Uh, and I have a privilege to, to go to Lapland in a couple of weeks. I'm really looking forward to that. I just love the idea of climbing up uh, hills from where I can see tens of kilometers away. And almost no no human beings to see it's really 
really wonderful. I just visited the south west coast of Finland and by by a, a small boat and walking uh, on the islands of the archipelago. Things I like in these places are are of course how they look like or or how they smell or or if I can listen to some silence or birds singing all these kind of things I really enjoy all the green all the uh, m multiple green colors that that I can find in the forest I I enjoy very much okay then some words about languages I have a question here does the majority of the population speak a second language as well as you do. Well, thank you. Yes, the majority of the population speaks a second language. I'm not sure if, if they speak as well as I do, but I know a lot of people who speak, for example, English much more than I do. Finnish being such a small uh, minor language uh, we really need to speak other languages because otherwise it would be difficult to um, cooperate with uh, people from other countries and so in our school system we have a lot of uh, foreign languages on the on the list um, so I have studied um, Swedish English German at school and then I have studied Spanish by myself and nowadays I think it's possible to study even Chinese at school at some schools not in every school uh, of course French Russian and and I suppose a lot other languages also Latin I think also so yeah, we need to speak a second language, and English is the most known, I think. But Swedish is the the the, the second uh, official language. So everybody, uh, every Swedish, um, every Finnish speaking um, a citizen here has to learn Swedish. And then, do Finns understand Sami languages? I think I don't know anyone who speaks Sami. It's such a small minority that speaks that, that language, all those languages, that it's not taught at school in general. It's taught uh, in Sami uh, area, in Lapland area. Um, so, the area where it is spoken. Uh, but it's really important to to keep the language alive. What is the best country in which you have sung? Um, I have sung um, abroad with Loituma and with some other um, groups also, and uh, um, I suppose. I'm going to answer here that Finland is is the best country uh, because the people here understand the lyrics and it's sometimes very important as a performer to know that the audience understands what you are saying. So in that way I think it's really really the, the best to to sing to perform here of course it's uh, it's not always like that and uh, of course there are lots of different kinds of music that don't have words which countries did you visit and did you like them um, I have visited very many countries in Europe and also the Uni United States Cuba and China I think I've liked more or less every country I have visited um, because I have always traveled with nice people and I have seen interesting and beautiful places in all the countries I've been to. 
So I can't name name uh, any any favorite really. Which countries do you want to visit? I want to visit someday Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Iceland, Brazil, Chile maybe, Canada. And I also would like to go to Africa. I've never been there. Which languages do you know and which do you want to learn in the future? Yes, I think I already answered that uh, earlier, but I would like to learn some more languages and that those would be um, French and Russia, Russian. Do you enjoy traveling? Um, what are your favorite places? I like traveling, but um, I don't enjoy flying so much. Mm, my favorite places are the ones where I can, where I can enjoy a beautiful nature, or or where I can hear silence, where I have uh, space, a lot of space, yeah, and and where I can eat well and or listen to good music or dance. Would you give Finnish lessons? I have been thinking that I would teach you guys uh, some words in Finnish more than Ivan Polka. Uh, words that could be used if you come here in Finland someday and uh, and also maybe words that have to do with music. So this is it this time. Uh, do subscribe if you like the content of this channel and uh, I'll be back soon with more uh, Q&A questions and answers. Hey, Bob. <laughs>